I hope that you were able to get outside yesterday. It was beautiful. I also hope you guys are doing well. I've heard some of you all are home sick. Maybe some people in your family have been sick. I want you to know that we have been praying for you at the Evans house. And speaking of prayer, we're going to talk about prayer this week. We've been going through some stories of Jesus and his followers. And last week we talked about when Jesus called the disciples to follow him. This week, Jesus is going to teach his disciples about prayer. So in today's story, Jesus is walking through the city with his friends, John and Mary Magdalene, and he wants to teach them something about prayer. They see people who are making a big show of praying. They're shouting, they're kneeling, and they're waving their arms. They see people in some big groups. And then Jesus keeps looking until he sees exactly what he wants to show his friends. So as we watch the video this morning, I want you to see why the woman who is praying keeps moving around. Sanda, 
So in that video, did you notice how the woman kept moving around from place to place? I wonder why do you think she was doing that? And what was it that Jesus saw that he didn't like about how some of the other people were praying? What did Jesus think was important about prayer? What do you think is important about prayer? And I wonder how it is that you usually pray. We're going to read the passage real quick that the artist of this video used um, as an inspiration for the story that they did today. This passage is Matthew 6, verses 5 through 8. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Oftentimes when Jesus would teach, he would use something called hyperbole. And hyperbole is when things are like really big or really small. So in this passage, maybe he's saying you should only pray at home in your room with your door closed. But you know, back then when he was talking, a lot of people didn't necessarily have a private room. Probably what he's trying to say, I think, is that when you pray, you shouldn't be so concerned about other people, but when you pray, you should only be thinking about one person, and that person is God. So let's think about that this week, how when we pray, we can be praying and thinking about God and the things that God wants us to have on our heart. Let's practice that right now, shall we? Let's pray. Dear Jesus, our prayer today is simple. Thank you for teaching us how to pray. Help me remember you each day. Amen. All right, friends, I hope you have a great week. I'll see you again soon. Bye.